I think I went out the wrong bit, but I'm sure it's fine. Hello! Oh, it's so nice to be here. It's so nice to be back in Australia. I haven't been here for six years, and then the time I've been away, I've had two children. Thank you! It's very exciting. So I've got two children. One's four, and the other's against. Ugh. Oh, it never ends! Um, I, I do love it. I love it a lot because my big girl, she's old enough now that she tells me jokes. Yeah, that she's made up herself. <laughs> oh, and she has no idea how jokes work. <laughs> and I just am desperate to share one that she told me two weeks ago because I love it so much. She comes over and she goes, why did the fart... And already she's got a glint in her eye. <laughs> because she knows she's doing edgy gear. <laughs> Why did the fart cross the road <laughs> to get to his home? <laughs> and then, all really exaggeratedly, she goes, by the way, his home is a bumhole. <laughs> Incredible, no notes. Who knew that you were allowed to improve a joke at the end by being like, by the way, there's a bum hole involved? <laughs> I like it. I like being a parent. The only bad thing is she wakes up every day at 6 a.m. on the dot. 6 a.m. on the dot. Every day. Why? Nothing is ever happening. <laughs> 6 a.m. And the only time she didn't was when we were in the middle of the lockdowns and she just started waking up at half past nine. Like, even she was like, what's the point? <laughs> the swings are closed. There's no play, Jim. <sighs> She's from London. That's why she talks like that. And no, she wasn't really smoking. She was vaping. <laughs> it's different. I hope you're all all right. Like, this has been such an odd time to be away, and, like, I just really want to care for you all. Like, I was in the UK during the lockdowns, and I did not fare well. Like, I did them physically, but mentally, I did not fare well. Mentally, I borrowed my boyfriend's big dressing gown. I got myself a thick gold chain. <laughs> I said to myself, I'm not under lockdown. I'm not under lockdown. I'm a New Jersey mob boss under house arrest. <laughs> Walk to the end of my drive, get my papers. I'm joking, I don't have a drive. I live in London, we have a terrible standard of living. I don't even have metaphorical drive anymore. No, no, I think it's tacky. On a burning planet, tacky. Like, don't get me wrong, if you use the times of lockdown to better yourself, I'm proud of you. Like, if you wrote a novel, or you ran a marathon, or you learnt a language, I'm very proud of you. But I also feel a bit like, if you wrote a novel, or you learnt a language, or you ran a marathon, you're a scab, okay? <laughs> you're a fucking scab. How dare you scab on all of humanity? Like, oh, is everyone else languishing? Not me, I'm thriving! How dare you? I only learned one thing throughout the whole pandemic, and what I learned was, for me, it answered the question, what will I look like in 10 years' time? <laughs> now, I'll show you now through stress! No. <laughs> um, listen, it's lovely to be here. Please come to my show if you like that sort of thing. I'll see you later. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>